a tremendous friend. Um, he lives uh, by us in uh, Tampa. I'll actually see him Friday at Legends Lunch. And um, <clears throat> so uh, I was asked to say a couple of words. And, but the first thing that comes to mind about Danny is uh, a lot of people didn't realize what a tough guy he was. And <clears throat> Adrian Adonis kept poking him and poking him and testing him and testing him. And, He'd, uh, you know, do things that really were getting Danny agitated. And as you know, we're not supposed to, uh, we're supposed to be professionals. But one day we're in Flint, Michigan, and I <clears throat> was sitting and talking to Pat Patterson. Um, there were several other people around. <clears throat> All of a sudden, Jimmy Brunzel kind of screaming, hurry up, it's a shoot, it's a shoot. <laughs> so I go to look and I see Danny's already coming out of the ring and, uh, Apparently Adrian put uh, Danny in a sleeper, and Danny's only escape was the rope. He finally got to the rope. He was really peed, so he left the ring, came to the locker room. All of a sudden, Adrian comes stopping him, and he's paying the tights. You know, Adrian was a wrestler in his day, but uh, again, verdict's out on Dan Spidey. But uh, uh, Adrian uh, thought it was his time to really uh, Level Spivey, so he goes to double leg him. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've ever heard a shotgun hit a watermelon, but, but when Spivey's left hand hit <coughs> Adrian's cheek, that's what it sounded like. And I swear, flesh flew all the way off of his skin, and he went down. And <coughs> I mean, that's the last time Adrian Adonis ever messed with Danny Spivey. So those tough guys, you know what they say, those tough guys in Iowa, Oklahoma, those little scrawny guys, you know, or whatever, the guys that don't say much, don't mess with those guys. Yeah, Danny's a tough guy. God bless. Thank you.